Welcome to Ten Wise Sons. Yeah, what's going on, NYC.com? It's your motherfucking boy, man, Jerry's Black, aka the motherfucking virus, man. You know, we moving and we shaking, man. You understand what I'm saying? Moving and grooving, bending and spinning, you know what I'm talking about? I'll let me, man. What's up with it? <laughs> um, what's right, up with it? What's up with it, man? That's definitely what's up, Jerry. So, uh -huh. I'm saying is, um, you know, I know you, I know you from BK, uh -huh. whatever. You know, just let people know, you know, what you do. You know what I mean? The things you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, you know what I'm saying, man, like, if you ain't know, man, you must have been under the rock, something, man, but like, uh, bad style, man, you know, I go stupid hard with this grind. In the city, 14th Street, Union Square, I go stupid hard with this grind. You know what I mean? I've been putting out mixtapes after mixtapes after mixtapes. I done work with artists as Nappy Roots, The Heat Makers, Hollow the Dawn, Cortez, Spliff Star, uh, different producers, you know what I'm saying? Easy Mo B, uh, Mr. Fingers, uh, um, DJ E Dubs, you know what I mean? Underground niggas, Tony James, shit like that, man. Your boy, your boy be grinding, be working, man. But you know, the game is just so oversaturated with everybody rhyming. So, you know, it's, it's be kind of hard, you know what I mean? But if you're from Brooklyn, like I'm from Brooklyn, man, you know me, man. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas know me. You know, any Brooklyn MC, yeah, them niggas know me. Me and I swear I put that on my mom and them niggas know me. I don't give a fuck them niggas put out an album, didn't put out an album, been on albums, been on videos. Them niggas from Brooklyn and they MCing. Yeah, them niggas know who the fuck Jerry's Black is, nigga. Yeah, man. All right, that's yeah. definitely what's up. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Jerry's Black, BK, we out here. All day, man. We downtown, we man. Yeah. yeah downtown, will, will, will it be, BK. man? We downtown. Will it be in Lawrence, man? We in the back of downtown, man. You know. Right. This is where Fort Green at, man, you know, growing up, 19 years old, acting stupid, coming down here, niggas wasn't even rocking down here, man, you know, all the little silly niggas with their chains on, niggas was getting snatched, man, I was doing a lot of snatch chains in, back in the days, downtown, man, you heard these niggas talking about downtown Brooklyn, man, niggas was even, when the movie theater was in the back of Duffield Street, niggas wasn't rocking, you know what I mean, it's Brooklyn, niggas, you know what I'm talking about, get with it, ain't nothing changed. Alright, that's what it is, so Charles, let me ask you something. What you feel about like internet? You know what I mean, like uh -huh. as far as like you you being a real artist. Uh -huh. What you feel is like the internet bringing to the game. You think it's helping it, or you think like it, it it hurt? It's hurting people in the long run. I'm saying, man, it's like the internet is like it's giving like anybody an opportunity to shine. You feel me? It's it's not like it's not like you know what I mean. It's not like how back in the days where where where. You had to grind hard, grind hard, grind hard, grind hard, grind hard, and then niggas would take notice, and you'll make a move here, and you'll get like on a on a on a on an access channel, or you get on Ralph McDaniel's music box, and you know what I mean? You'll do some shows, and you you get to open up for this, open up for that. You you know what I'm saying? You'll make you'll make your way. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just like here you there, you just you know send an email. To a nigga who running the website, send your video, nigga send you back another email, tell you a fee, he'll put you up, do some fake hits, like you know what I'm saying, on some other shit, give you some fake hits, you know what I mean, and you just keep oversaturating the internet with your footage on some silly shit like how Max B and Frenchie was doing, just mad footage on World Star. I don't mean to mention another shit, but just an example, just keep oversaturating this shit that niggas believe if you're on the internet heavy, you popping. 
You know, it's just like if you're on the radio heavy, you popping. You may not be popping, you're on the radio heavy, it's just that your, your label just might be paying all that bread to get your record spent. You might be paying all that bread to get on these, these, these popular websites. Now you popping when you really ain't popping. So, you know, it, it, you know, but if you are popping, and you all can use it as a tool. How Rick Ross used it as a tool to defend himself when he was going against 50. He used that tool. You know what I'm saying? He used that tool to promote his shit. To go back and forth and dissing 50 when 50 had his own website where he was promoting his shit. So it can hurt you and it can break you depending on how you use it. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. That's definitely what's up. All uh -huh. right, so you get an artist. Do you listen to other artists? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about cats. I'm talking about, you know, cats on the come up. Is there any cats on the come up that you could that you would you would do a joint with or you know collab with or you know get on the song? Yo, my nigga, and this is what word to my mama. I can't stand hip hop. And that's my word. It's word to my mama. I don't like hip hop no more. That's word to my mama. That's why I be back in the streets nowadays, you know what I mean? Doing what I do. Cause it's so crazy, cause it's like I can't even enjoy the music. I can't enjoy music though. Like I really gotta go back in the archives. You feel me? I gotta really pull out seeing their first album. I gotta pull out the War Report. You know what I'm talking about? I gotta pull out Snoop Dogg album first album. I gotta pull out Whole first album. I gotta pull out Pac All Eyes on Me album. I gotta really put that shit like you go to my car. This is what you see. I got one. I got. I bought one new album. For 09, dog, and I 50 album before I self destruct. And that was the hottest album I heard like in two years, dog, as far as I MC it. I don't even hear I don't even hear albums like that no more, dog. So me being an MC, you know what I'm talking about being an MC and fucking with the music and understanding niggas' music, it be like, yo, these niggas should be whack. It don't make no sense for a nigga to even be listening to the music no more. It makes no sense for a nigga to fuck with the music no more. You feel me? So you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's niggas out there that's gonna come up that spit, but it's like, hey man, you know what I'm talking about? It ain't really saying nothing, it ain't really moving nothing, it ain't really talking about nothing that can motivate me. Cause that's what music's supposed to be, you feel me? You know, I hope I'm answering y'all niggas' question, NYC.com, but for music, it's supposed to be something to motivate you. You know what I mean? So if these niggas ain't saying nothing to motivate me or nothing that I can relate to, then I can't fuck with it. You know what I mean? Word. Okay, so, what you think you can bring to the game? You know, what, what you gonna bring to hip hop? You know what I mean? If they say, yo, Jerry's Black, million dollars there. Uh -huh. you know, what uh -huh. you gonna bring to the oh, game? Oh, yeah, good question, man. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna bring to this game here. Listen to my music, man. You're gonna define the gutterness, man. Like a gutter hustler, man. Like niggas who be like, hey, man, you got niggas who be on some pretty boy flamboyant hustler shit. Like, you might have a fab type nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Wanna be the pretty boy or, or the Nas pretty boy, you know, Don popping champagne. And you got the gutter niggas who get money. Like, yo, I'm a gutter nigga. I'm a gutter getting money nigga, like on some DMX shit. But not that so gutter, like how you be with the dogs and all that crazy shit. But niggas is gutter getting money. You feel me? Gutter niggas. Who get gutter, who get busy and all that, who do their gun bust and shit, but know how to who know how to separate the nonsense. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna run up on a nigga, squeeze on a nigga while he in front of his mom. Who not to differentiate the shit from difference, you know what I'm talking about? We ain't gonna do no dumb shit. So when a nigga hear my music, he gonna respect the gutterness, the realness, and respect a nigga grind and a nigga passion, respect. Hey man, you know what I'm talking about? I can be humble, you know what I'm saying? I don't gotta be out there. Ah, ah. And I can still get busy and still get my money. And I don't got to be a super flamboyant nigga to feel like I'm busy. I can be a nigga in the middle just taking back, getting my money and niggas knowing what it is. So if I get the opportunity and I will show these niggas that character, that because there's character niggas out there just like me that gets money and keep it gully and know how to balance that shit out. You feel me? Yeah. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh.